you probably aren't gonna like your message for today, but you probably need it. Okay, so this is for anyone trying to quit a bad habit, um, anyone who is struggling with addiction, or if you're just trying to start a new positive habit, this is your message for today. For whenever you're watching this, that's the, the law of attraction, that's how it works. You found this at the perfect time. Okay, so today, I love this card, but most people don't love it when you're in the midst of breaking an addiction. Um, integrity, the integrity card, it says no excuses. See, he's ripping up excuses. And at the bottom it says self-discipline and commitment. And I'm gonna read you the content on the back of the card. All right, you guys ready? You picked this card as a reminder to stay focused on the reason you began this journey. The truth is that no one is always motivated to make healthy changes. You must rely on self-discipline when you are trying to break an addiction that has been negatively affecting your life. Even professional athletes who love their sport are not always motivated to put in the daily work it, it takes to meet their goals. The difference is that they use self-discipline and they put the work in even when they do not feel motivated. So again, just we're not going to wake up every morning. I'm not always motivated by no means. No, I do things anyway because of commitment and discipline. Um, and then by the way, once I get started, like if it's my workout in the mornings or something like that, once you get started, you, you get into it, you know, it's, it's, it's just getting started is the, the hardest part. I think they're just saying like, once begun, halfway done. I might have that wrong, so don't quote me. Self-discipline is a learned behavior, so anyone can learn this. Willpower is truly only the willingness to change. At first, did you hear that? Willpower is only the willingness to change. I have a bird um, peeking in the window at me. Hello. Okay, sorry. At first, changing your normal routine feels unfamiliar, which is not a comfortable feeling for most of us. Acknowledge that it will take time to break out of your comfort zone and make the unfamiliar feel familiar. It will get easier, it will get easier. Each time you make a better choice, you are literally reprogramming your mind. I promise that eventually this awkwardness will fade and your new habits will soon begin to feel natural. It will not be long before you feel so good that you'll wonder how you ever survived without your newfound healthy habits. I definitely feel that way. Like I was only like half alive before when I was drinking and uh, addicted to sugar and ca caffeine addict and all that. Well, you know, I even quit caffeine. Yeah, that one's, that's my biggest struggle. Like every now and then I'm like, I really want a cup of coffee. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't do it. I don't do it. But, um, because it made me feel so much better. Like overall, my nervous system, I didn't know how much it was affecting me until I got the caffeine out of my system. Because I drank that, I mean, probably almost 40 years drink caffeine. Because I'm 50 now and I started drinking it when I was like 10. So yeah, that one's tough. That one was tough. Um, if you have a setback, acknowledge what caused it and move on. Forgive yourself quickly for the hiccup and stay positive. Feelings of guilt and shame tend to prolong the setback, so please be gentle with yourself. Yeah, if you sit there in shame spiral, you're just gonna, it's gonna be another day of making bad choices and another one because that shame frequency is beneath what you need to hit your goals. You wanna raise your vibration, not lower it with shame and guilt. It's really unnecessary to do that. Hey, it's done, forgive yourself, move on. Set yourself up for success by getting back on your game immediately. Take time today to reflect on the next, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take time today to reflect on the reason that you made the decision to quit your unhealthy habit. Next, make one small promise to yourself today and keep it for the next 30 days. That's your goal, that's your homework. Make one small promise to yourself and keep it for 30 days. What could an example, like if it's exercise, like maybe make it 20 minutes every day, moving your body. It, if it's like, if you're trying to incorporate more water, um, just make uh, the amount, decide on the amount you want to drink each day and keep that promise to yourself for 30 days. It's going to help you trust yourself more. Oh, this is how you will begin to trust yourself fully again. See, I know myself. I know what I say. You have not been able to rely on your own words in the past, but this card indicates that a major shift has occurred. So you are now on your way 
well on your way to becoming a person of true integrity. And that's why it's the integrity card. I called it that because once we get rid of these excuses, we can start having our actions match our words. You know, like I know a lot of people who are just clueless about their addictions. Like sometimes the people who think they don't have addictions actually have the most addictions that I've, of anyone I've ever seen. But self-awareness is a thing, right? And we can't have integrity when we're not aware of our bad habits. We can't even, you know, we, we really believe ourselves. We convince ourselves. I was there. I was in denial for a long time about alcohol. I was already a coach when I was still drinking alcohol because I didn't think I had a problem. And anyone who told me I had a problem, I thought they were boring and lame and I was just fun and they were being controlling maybe, you know, right? But that's not the truth. The truth is, is I had a problem. <laughs> I was definitely um, abusing alcohol. I had a very unhealthy relationship and then we can't change anything that we don't acknowledge, right? So denial is a strange phenomenon. Okay, guys, I hope this hit home with you. Let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a beautiful day.